it seems like it's a little cloudy and it seems like there's rain on this side of the island. Well, right now there's a little gap right here, but we'll see. I think we'll probably get out here and test our luck. Worst case scenario, we are in a golf cart, so. Yeah, it's, it's just birthday tomorrow, the 22nd yeah. of February. Are you plan on barbecuing this stuff? No, I was gonna barbecue, so I marinated some like really. Well, that's a lot of marinade in there. Ah, ooh, that chicken's good. Yeah, I marinated some chicken for him so we can like barbecue it, but if it's barbecue it, but if it is raining, then we probably won't be able to. Well, you can but I, barbecue. You think so? Yeah, I'll just have to. I rest hard, Jeff. From picking up your tubby pug? No, I was freaking picking my damn tubby pug. You don't pick up nothing. Oh, this is where that Italian restaurant is. Yeah. That people talk about Mangiamo or something like that. Yeah, it is there. <laughs> I heard of it. They were partying up there the other last week. Really? Or two weeks ago. Good. But you know what's funny is I never even thought about coming here. And I'm, you know what? You're the second person I feel that says something about. You didn't really bring snacks, but we got a water bottle. Sponsored. But if you would like to sponsor me, I drink about three a day. <laughs> no, maybe not. Well, yeah, I guess. It's probably not the healthiest for me. I need to stop this. We need to get on the health train again. Mm -hmm. As you see in the video, you see my gut. <clears throat> Disregard that. But that's so cute. Nice shot, Smitty! I'm gonna choke down a little bit. I'm gonna try to punch it right over this hill, in between those bunkers, land on the grass, and let it roll up to the green. Sometimes in golf, you gotta have a little imagination. <laughs> nice shot, Puggy. Even though ah, it rolled. Yeah, it. it was. It was so close to being perfect. I just got a little too much on it. Perfect, not fun. God, I forgot we were on a hill. <laughs> Jeff just treats this golf cart like if we're both a hundred pounds. My wedge back. I did. did a sweet pie. So tell us how it went. So it didn't go as planned, just like everything else today. But it's all right. Because we're just out here enjoying the day. My score doesn't matter today. It's the day before my birthday. I'm supposed to be out here having fun. So <laughs> Look at Ringo. Try to. There's not much room. Yeah. Alright, let's finish it off with a birdie. Gotta get one birdie today, folks. We played with a man named Smithy, Miss Smitty? Smitty and, and Uwe. 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 A lady called Uwe. They're both really, really sweet. I, we had a really good time. It was a short little nine hole, but they were really, really nice people. <sighs> Makes me wonder what golf. And when I went to the bathroom, I saw that they have like at this golf course, the name Marine Corps. If you are active duty, retiree, or a spouse, you can be part of their little club, women's club. And they have little pictures of like of the most improved player, and then another picture. Yeah, it's just cute. Um, like the all-star from their little team. I, I forget what cool. I forget what the other uh, little title was, but they had the little pictures, and then like the they had pictures of their Christmas like golf session, and they all wearing like um, striped socks, like little hats, Christmas hat.
my girl's getting jealous that there's a chickadee girl team. Are you tired? No. What's wrong? Well, I'm just trying to figure out my what the hell I've been doing. I did today on the damn golf course. I kind of hit the ball with So the, the, the thing is with Jeff is that uh, not this last week. Oh, a rainbow. Look. So pretty. So the, like two weekends ago, he went to go play golf and he scored a 78, which is really, really impressive. I, I know my shoe in the 80s. Well, I worked from the, I was in the hundreds and I got down to the nineties. Then I got down to the eighties and I shot, finally shot like a, I broke 80, got a 78. Now, I can't say I'm in the seventies. I don't shoot in the seventies, but I'd like to stay there. But, but he feels like he's regressing a little bit. Yeah. I think I'm really going backwards somehow. And that's something I did do is just go back to the driving range. Every time, every for the last two or three rounds, I've uh, haven't practiced or even swinging. Like I literally go pay and they're like, next up on the tee box, Weller. And it's just like, <laughs> shit, I didn't even get to like do nothing. That's what happened today. That's so I'm just, <laughs> so I'm out there just swinging the orange whip and then the next thing you know, it's like, I didn't hit a single ball at the like, driving range. Like, so the half bucket would be nice just to, just to warm up. Just to warm up and then by the time you're on the range and trying to figure that out. <laughs> that's why that's exactly what the issue is. So that's it. I just need to warm up so that way I can get the feeling of the swing. Because once you're on the golf course and you're trying to figure out what the hell you're doing wrong or it's already a really tough mental game and it just, just destroys you immediately. Puts you in a bad place. Another cool thing that I that I thought it was cute, the the man that we were playing with, well Jeff was playing with, Smitty, he had that made my whole day. <laughs> he had a little container of fish food, or actually koi fish. I'm yeah. sure it's like a spe specific type of food. He had a little container, a little canister in his golf bag, and he says that he, that's like his little highlight. He always brings. Uh, little fish food and it was just I didn't get it on on camera but because it just happened so quickly but I was like oh I'm gonna carry some with me in my bag a little duck food and uh yeah he fed the ducks and the koi he fish. fed the, the ducks and the koi fish and the koi fish were like literally stacked on each other like trying to get out of the little pond and then as he was walking away with his golf bag like after he fed them and they already finished what he gave them they were like following him along the path like to see if they would she, he would give them more food it was cute now i want to bring like three different little like containers small ones for the birds the ducks and the fish <laughs> that was cute guys well jeff cooked this delicious chicken in the oven and then i got myself a little wine glass some wine. I'm really warm now. This is our last bottle from Italy. Not true. What's that? We have more? Oh, red. I guess this is our last. Technically white, but this is like a bold white. You see the color? See the lines. Okay, I'm gonna cut up the chicken. A little ASMR moment. <laughs> Eat your pebbles, my love. Jeff put some uh, ham in her food. This is Moles and Richmond movies that he put on the house. Big scoops on the side of its mouth. The scoops are called cephalic lobes. <laughs> So Pug Dad's a picky pug, so this is his birthday birthday favorite pollo asado. So let's see. Oh, Pug Dad thinks so. Uh, 
delicious. Are you being serious? What number would you rate this? I'm not rating no, no damn number. Why not? I'm not because that's a trick question. I don't like trick question. It's like a double edged sword. So we made him obviously red rice, which he loves. A little mixture of cilantro and onion. This is for me because he doesn't like avocado. Yeah. I took a poke. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So juicy, flavorful. So that means it's a 10 then. That sounds like a 10 to me. 10s are really hard to come by. This ain't no uh, uh, Michelin star restaurant, okay? Remember that. Are you kidding me? He loved it.